Now that we have the Mega TDR500 set up, let's discuss how to find an event with it. Connect the TDR500 to a cable and turn the rotary switch to either of the operating modes, auto or the green back trace icon which is manual mode. Across the top of the screen is displayed, from left to right, the battery icon which has four vertical black bars that indicate the condition of the batteries. The more bars, the more life remains in the batteries. The velocity of propagation to which the TDR500 is set. This is black on gray. The impedance to which the TDR500 is set. This is also black on gray. The distance of the cable under test that is currently shown on the screen. This is gray on black. Moving the joystick up to increase the distance and down to decrease it changes this distance. The trace with the cursor is in the center of the screen. The distance from the TDR to the cursor is displayed at the bottom of the screen. From this point, the relevant control is the joystick. Move it left and right to move the cursor to the left or right. Move it up or down to increase the distance shown on the screen. Increase the distance shown on the screen until an event becomes visible. Move the cursor until it is on the leading edge of the event. The distance from the TDR to the event is shown at the bottom of the screen. In the event that the trace needs to remain visible on the TDR500 screen after it has been disconnected from the cable under test, the hold button can be pushed while the TDR500 is still connected to the cable under test and the trace will remain on the screen.